Hello friends and welcome to a new happy learning video. Today we're going to learn about the digestive system and digestion. So that our body can make the most of the food we eat, it must first transform itself into a simple substance called nutrients. These nutrients are then transported by our blood around our body to be used and converted into energy. This food transformation process is called digestion and is done in the digestive system. The digestive system is a very long tube through which the food travels and is made up of the following parts. The mouth, this is where the digestive journey begins. The teeth both chop and grind up the food we eat. Once it has been made into a ball, it is pushed down the food pipe to the pharynx. The pharynx is a cavity which shares the digestive system with the respiratory system. It is from the pharynx that the food goes to the esophagus. The esophagus is a soft muscular tube that moves food further down to the stomach. The stomach is a widening of the digestive tube. It creates a movement which allows food with a mixture of gastric fluids. Once this process has been done, it then travels to the small intestine. The small intestine is called small because of its width, not its length. It is actually a lot longer than the large intestine, measuring up to 7 meters in length, almost as wide as a football goal from post to post. Well, it is here, in the small intestine, where the food digestion journey ends. Now it is up to fluid processes by two glands, the liver and the pancreas, to finalize the transformation from foods to nutrients. Once the food is converted into nutrients, they then traverse the small intestine's walls and filter into our blood where they are then made good use of by all of our body cells. But what happens to the food that our body doesn't need? All that, such as fiber for example, is transferred into the large intestine. The large intestine is a thick tube which accumulates substances which our organism cannot digest and it is where water from these substances is absorbed. The substances then form fecal matter, or what we call poop, and it comes out of the anus. Ah, it sounds a little bit disgusting, but that's how our body works. Anyway friends, I hope you found the digestive system and digestion as interesting as I did. See you later, and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning!